Kusambula, welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am Paldan Doji, a teacher from Goshling Primary School under Tsirangzongak. This lesson is for mathematics, key stage 2, classes 4 to 6. In this lesson, let us learn what is mean, median, and mode. We will also determine mean, median, and mode. Finally, let us all explore the relevancy to our daily life. Dear children, in this lesson, we would be doing some activities on the sport. For that, can you please get ready with your writing materials? Okay, are you ready? Let's start the lesson. What is mean? Mean is a set of data or numbers that describes the whole set. It is a kind of an average. How do we calculate the mean? First, we have to find the sum of data in a set and then divide it by number of data. That, this is how the mean is being calculated. Now, let's look at data collected on the number of phone calls received on 1st April 2020. Based on the data, we shall find the mean of that given data. Can you look at the board and see the set of data on the screen? The values or the numbers in a set of data are 1, 7, 3, 2, 4, 0, 4. Now, to find the mean, we have to add all these numbers. So the sum that we get is 21. After getting the sum, that sum should be divided by number of data. Since we have 7 as number of data, so the sum 21 is divided by 7. Finally, the answer that we get is 3. So this 3 is the mean for this given data. Now, find the mean of these numbers. The numbers are 1, 4, 1, 3, 1. Okay, did you finish? What is the sum that you got? Yes, 10. Now, what is the number of values in this set of data? 5. Divide the sum by 5. You get the answer as 2, right? Yes, that means the mean for this set of data is 2. Now, let us look at median. What is median? The median is the middle number for a set of data. How do we find the median? The number has to be arranged from least to greatest or vice versa. Then look for the middle number. That middle number is the median for that particular set of data. Now let's read the data and calculate the median. This is a set of data. I already told you what we should be doing when we calculate the median. The first thing that you have to do is arrange the data values in ascending order or descending order. For example, this is the number or the value of data set, like 1, 7, 3, 2, 4, 0, 4. Now, let us arrange in ascending order. The number starts from 0, since 0 is the smallest of all. So let's read once. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, and 7. Now from this set of numbers, we can see 3 in the middle. So 3 is called the median of this data set. Children, try finding out the median of these numbers. 
The numbers are 7, 1, 6, 4, 3. Did you complete your work? Okay, let's, let's see once. Can you see the number has been rearranged in ascending order? Like 1, 3, 4, 6, and 7. Now, can you find the number in the middle? What is that number? 4. Correct? So, 4 is the median of the set of data given. Now, let us find the median for even number data values. For example, the number or the data values are 1, 7, 5, 3. Here, what you need to do is you have to rearrange this number or data value in ascending order or descending order. Now the next step is what you need to do is you have to divide the middle values or the middle numbers by 2. So the middle number out here is 3 and 5. When we add 3 and 5, we get the sum as 8. This 8 should be divided by 2. The final answer we got is 4. Therefore, median is 4 in this set of data. Now, dear children, let us try to find out median when the middle numbers are same in even number data value or the value of data set as 6, 5, 9, 6, 7, 4. Now, when we arrange in ascending order, the data value that we get here is 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 9. Since in the above case, both middle numbers are same, that is 6. So, 6 is the median of the set of data given above. Okay, now let us look at a new topic, that is mode. What is mode? The mode is the number that occurs most often. There can be one mode, more than one mode, or no mode. Let's see some examples. Now, can you see a set of data here? Let's find the mode for this data. Okay, the values of the numbers in this data are 1, 7, 3, 2, 4, 0, 4. The mode is 4 for this given set of data values. S, there are two fours in the set. Now children, can you see some numbers on the board? Those are values of the set of data. Using this set of data, find the mode. Finish? Okay, what is the mode that you have got? The mode is 3 for the above set of data values. S, there are 3 trees in the set. Now, what about data values having more than one mode? The data values or the number will not be same. Sometimes you will have one mode, sometimes you will have two modes. But what about the data values or the numbers in the data set or in a set of data when the mode is more than one? For example, the number of the set of data are 12, 15, 17, 12, 17, 19. Since the above data value has two modes, 12 and 17, the mode are 12 and 17 for the above set of numbers. This is how we find the mode for mode of the set of data. What about the data values having no mode? For example, set of data or the numbers in a set of data like 13, 23, 35, 48, 10, and 14. There is no mode for the given set of numbers as the number appears only once. So we say that there is no mode. Now, let us look at the marks scored by Mrs. Sangelamo in class test. 
eight is out of ten. In English, she is good, eight out of ten. Zonka, seven out of ten. Mathematics, four out of ten. And science, science, seven out of ten. And social studies, nine out of ten. We shall use this set of data and have a simple quiz to check the understanding of what we have just learned. Let us begin with the quiz question. First question, what is the mean mark of Sangye Lamo? To answer this question, you need to look at the data values given at the site. A, 4, B, 5, C, 6, D, 7. What is the mean mark of Ms. Sangye Lamo in her class test? Okay, let's see. Seven. Correct answer is seven. Now, question number two. Again, use the same set of data and find the median mark of Sangye Lamo. When you find the median, you need to think of the steps. That is, rearranging, then finding the middle number, right? Okay, A, seven, B, four, C, eight, D, nine. What could be the answer for this question? Yes, the answer is seven. Now, are you ready for the third question? What is the mode of her mark? A, six, B, nine, C, seven, and D, four. Can you remember what does mode mean? And the answer. Okay. What is your answer? Seven. Yes, the mood of her marks is seven. Now, what did we learn today? By the way, did you enjoy the lesson? Okay. Can we revisit? Can you review what we have learned today? First thing, we have learned about mean. What is mean? A set of data or number that describes the whole set is a mean. But in short, we can say that mean is an average. How do you find the mean? We just have to find the sum of the values of the set of data and divide by number of data. That is how we find the mean. And next we have learned about median. What is median? Median here means middle number. How do you find the median number or the median? You will find a set of data or data values. You need to rearrange that data values in ascending order or descending order. Then find the number in the middle. That a number which is in the middle is said to be a median. And we also learn how to find the median for an even number data value. We have also learned how to find the median for two or three numbers. Now, next thing that we have learned is what is mode. The mode here means a number or the value which appears most often, which comes again and again. That is called mode. We have also learned a set of data which has more than one mode, which has got no mode. So these are some of the things that we have learned today. I hope you have understood. Now, to check yourself whether you have understood or not, I have a set of questions, a test book which is reprinted in 2019, and try to complete the following questions. Class 4. Look at or turn to page number 220 and solve the Explorer lessons. For class 5 students, turn on to page number 204 and solve question number 1 and 3. For classes 6, turn on to page number 208 and solve question number 1, sub 
question A, B, and C. I hope you got what I have taught and you have understood what is mean, median, and mode, and you know how to calculate or find those things.